The beautiful thing about flowers is, well, they are so beautiful. And so with flower arranging, it's really impossible to fuck it up because they're just so good. I'm Spencer, also known as the Unlikely Florist, and I am your Unlikely Florist on this Valentine's Day. We'll be arranging in this vase right here, a beautiful flower arrangement with a little bit of guidance from yours truly. So, any questions before you get going? Great, let's get some water in this vase. If you need a moment to go over to the kitchen and get some water for your vase. Oh wait, that's fine. All right, so we have our flowers. First things first, you have this little vase down here, it's got foam in it. You don't need it, it really is just to keep the flowers fresh. We're gonna pop them right out of there. We're then going to lay them down on their back, right so. Take this ribbon, pull it apart, unwrap it. We're gonna unwrap this guy from the burlap. I love to repurpose this stuff. I love to repurpose everything. Honestly, like sustainability is a massive part of my approach to life, but that's a whole nother conversation that I'm not gonna bore you with on this Valentine's. We're gonna pop this uh, rubber band off or snap it. So we have our stems, they're now loose. Let's take a look at them. Let's see what we have. We've got all sorts of beautiful and unusual flowers like this silver brunia, which is a personal favorite. It's not particularly bright. It's not saying, hey, look at me, but it is a lovely little texture that is a favorite of mine. And it dries incredibly well. I mean, it really just barely changes. I mean, look at this thing, it's beautiful. Anyhow, we'll move on. A Couple of carnations right here. Some straw flower, beautiful blush tone. Notice that like the tone that I'm working with here is kind of this like soft, yellowy, pinky, pastel kind of palette, which I'm feeling. If you got this palette too, I hope you're feeling it. And uh, if you got something else, I hope you feel that. I'm laying these stems out in just little like bunches and kind of ordering them so that I can see what I have and know where I'm kind of placing it. And that way it'll give me a bit of an opportunity to have a method to the madness of making this flower arrangement once I'm ready to. All right, we've got lots of eucalyptus over here. We've got some Brasilia berries, some Grevillea, a lovely like stem of olive. We have an iris, we have a calla lily. We have these little like um, mums, some acacia, some thistle. Sweet. Let's keep it moving here, because I bet I'm not the only date you've got today. Oh. I kind of often feel like making a flower arrangement is a lot like making a painting, painting a painting. That I'm putting down my wash, creating a backdrop, making smaller gestures that really like hit you and then finally coming in with the detail. So with that being said, we're gonna start with our foliage creating that backdrop, creating the composition, and then we're gonna move down towards our detail. So identify your leading stem, the stem that you find is going to be the centerpiece, in a sense, of your arrangement. This vase also, to me, like dictates a composition that I think we're gonna try and achieve. With this vase specifically, there's a very vertical kind of look to it, and there's also a very, um, like sym symmetrical and cylinder kind of vibe about it. Different from say, something like this, which in a way has similar qualities, but like I can see, I could see things draping from it in different ways. So now that we have all of our flowers and our plant material laid out, let's get them into this vase. So I'm gonna start with my greens, and you may not have each and every one of these greens, but that's fine, you can work with your own. I have particularly tough hands, because I've been doing this a little while. The scissors are gonna do well for you. All right, so we're cutting these on a little angle. That'll mean that the water will run up them nice and easily. Instead of working our way around the vase so that each, so it's kind of going out in all directions. As you can see here, sort of starting to take shape already. It's important not to judge the process, right? It's very easy to be like, oh, this looks terrible early on. You have a whole lot of flowers ahead of you, so just drop them in. All right, here I've got a stem of acacia. Kind of think of this balance, right? So like once I go one way with a pretty heavy stem, I'm gonna make a cut here and go the other way. 
balancing out the composition as I build it. The beautiful thing about flowers is, well, they are so beautiful. And so with flower arranging, it's really impossible to fuck it up because they're just so good. You put one flower here, you put one flower there, and it always looks beautiful. So don't judge the process, don't take it too seriously, and have yourself some fun. Once you've got some greens in, start working with the bigger flowers, taking up some of the, some of the space, balancing out in different directions, so that we can work down into the details with some of the smaller and finer stems. A couple of these on either side. The thistle. Notice that I'm kind of working my way up a little bit, creating this shape that's gonna go here. Ultimately, I'm gonna get this guy, and in fact, let's get him in now. This brings some height and, and like a nice center point to the arrangement. I couldn't have put this stem in earlier because it would have gone all over the place. The stems that I've put in have kind of created a bit of a web of, of stems uh, down here, so it's allowing it to stand up straight and not topple over. Cool. Um, let's accompany this beautiful olive with our Snapdragon. Nice little spot right there. The Scrivelia is beautiful. A really important thing to note is that you can always cut more stem off, but you can't add it back. So be sparing as you work your way up the stem. All right. Slide that guy in there. This is a nice stem. What's your favorite flower, by the way? Let me guess. Dahlia. Did I get it right? Or is it peony? Peony, I gotcha. Your favorite flower is the peony. I gotcha. Oh, you're a rose lover? Who doesn't love a rose? Filling in these little spaces, you can see. This leucodendron's beautiful. Color. Each of the stem is also going to kind of like move in a particular way, right? So you want to consider that as you arrange. If I want this flower to sort of be displayed out to you, to put it in this way is going to hide it away. But if I turn it, you'll notice that it just wants to be seen. So be aware of that. Slide this in, a little billy ball to kind of touch up top. This iris hasn't bloomed yet, but when it does, it's gonna be beautiful. So I'm gonna keep it in a spot where it has a bit of space for it to do so. I'm gonna give it a fresh cut. Giving these flowers a fresh cut is gonna give them like a nice burst of energy. So it's gonna help some of the flowers bloom if that's necessary. And it's just gonna keep them fresh and healthy as well. So keep that in mind. Brasilia and here. I've got a little hole over here which I can fill without too much issue. If you have any carnations and they're feeling a little bit tight, you can kind of get in with your hands, hold them in the flower here and just sort of spread it open. Be delicate, but you know, get what you want. You know what I'm saying? Like really go for it. That will open it up and make it look beautiful. Cool. Let's do the same with this one, holding it here and just sort of opening it up, blooming it a little bit, and then I'll find my spot for it over here. Before I go lastly, let me just say, you don't have to use all the flowers that you've been provided with. Not all of them in this arrangement. I'm sure you've got some little vessels around your home, so you can little pop of color here and there, but no need to like cram everything in if it doesn't feel right. This linoleum right here may not feel right. Maybe I'll use one stem or two, but I'm not gonna force it. All right, so the wax flower is a nice little detail. I like to wrap the base of the arrangement with it with like, just to sort of cover up any areas that are a little dark. So we'll slide it in over here. Wax flower smells beautiful too, by the way, so enjoy that. 
smell those flowers. A little pop of color here. We've got some white, which is nice and big and beautiful. Don't be afraid to go high and find some space up high for it. It's a nice light flower. It doesn't take up too much space. All right, that is it. I hope you have enjoyed yourself as much as I have. So from myself and the team at Marciano, have a happy Valentine's Day.